Hey, what's up guys? Big Rob here, Chaos Nutrition, founder, CEO. But uh, today's topic of discussion is not gonna be about nutrition or chaos. Um, it's going to be about sports and entertainment and that of Kwame Brown. Now, some of you may not know what's going on in the world of uh, sports and entertainment, but lately there's been a big feud going on between Kwame Brown, Stephen A. Smith, and some of the other cats over at ESPN. Um, Kwame Brown played in the league, that would be the NBA, for over 10 years. Played on some really awesome teams. Um, and he had been taking some heat for the past 20 years about him uh, pretty much being a softy, having some mental issues, his family having some trouble, uh, growing up in an impoverished neighborhood, and uh, small hands. I mean, he's been pretty much been beaten to a pulp for 20 years and just sat back and took it, and uh, rightfully so. He was cashing those checks. So I'd probably be doing the same damn thing. But enough is enough, and I agree with him. And, um, you know, he, he's stepping up to the plate and coming out and speaking out against not just Stephen A. Smith, but all the other beta cucks in the world that seem to uh, have a voice in the world that have never really done shit for themselves. So I'm going to just be honest with you. Taking Kwame's side on this one because to make it anywhere over 10 years in any league, you've got to contribute something. You've got to have value some sort of value that an owner with with millions of dollars has to see on, on multiple teams. So we're not just talking about just one owner, like a Bob Kraft with the New England Patriots, New England Patriots, just taking Tom Brady under his wing and paying him, you know, whatever he wants to pay him. We're talking about a guy who had to go on the market, prove himself and contribute somehow, some way. Um, and you can go by the analytics and the numbers um, you can dog him, but to make it anywhere is over 10 years, you got to give him props. Now, you can call him a bust if you want to. Uh, he was the last high schooler to come out um, of high school, make it into the NBA. And uh, since then, they put a kibosh on it, and you actually have to go through uh, the college ranks now to, uh, to, to get into the NBA. So that in itself is kind of... Uh, Kind of odd, kind of weird, but nonetheless, um, Kwame does make some really valid points, and you know they they've been busting on him for 20 years. So I've got to say to the guys like Stephen A. Smith, what have you done? You know, and and you'll find that to be a lot. There's a lot of guys that have never gone through. I I myself uh, could never play basketball. Too short, too wide. You already know the uh, schematics of that. So. To be seven foot tall like Kwame is, and to play as long as he did, like I said, you gotta contribute somewhere, or an owner with millions of dollars, maybe even billions, um, with sponsorships and endorsements, you're, not, you're never gonna even see the court. Now, if you're sitting the bench the entire time, you're still contributing. Uh, that just means you're not good enough to be a starter. But that doesn't mean you know that you're garbage. There's plenty of guys that sit the bench in every league, NHL, NFL, uh, some never even get their time. They sit third, fourth string. Um, some on the practice squad still making their money. I don't hear them calling them a bust. Um, but here you have a black man just getting berated by another one, um, by another black man. And I just find that to be bullshit too. So I'm glad Kwame's stepping up to the plate, calling these beta cucks out for what they are and, uh, you know, shutting it down because enough is enough. And then you see other guys come out defending Stephen A. Smith and, uh, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the beast, but it's also kind of bullshit, you know? So when you see it happening um, from this vantage point, you got to come out and say, you know, even Kwame. I mean, he didn't even have social media for up to about a week ago. Uh, as far as YouTube, he comes out and just kills it. So he's sitting there, you know, kicking back and uh, defeating the system once again. And he knows what's up. You can hear it in his videos. He knows what's going on. Guys like Hassan Campbell have, uh, you know, stepped up and, and uh, sided with Kwame. And uh, that's what's necessary in these times because what they're doing is singling out alpha men. They know. They know that the key to this system and winning is defeating the alpha male, taking the alpha male right out of the equation. And uh, I'm going through the car wash because it's necessary out here in the desert, man, because uh, 
we get dust all day long and it's hot as hell so um you gotta go through these car washes so if it gets loud my apologies i may stop the video uh but nonetheless i'd like to keep recording um so yeah my that's my take on it is that uh that's what they're trying to do these beta cuck males like stephen smith never played one hot minute in the nba how do you talk shit about someone that's played and finished an entire career whether from the bench whether from the back room wherever um he still did more than you did like you said you know before the age of 21 this man had already purchased his mother uh, a house of her own and uh, grew up in a house where he didn't even have a father so you got to put all those things into perspective man see i'm i'm one of that in that generation where dad wasn't home so we had to step up to the plate and be the man so when i see another man like kwame out there winning i i want to congratulate him you know because that's just going to take his kids and put his kids in a better spot to win why wouldn't you want to see each other win why do we want to keep breaking each other down why do we want to keep shitting on each other well that's why guys like myself, Aubrey Huff, Mark Lobliner, uh, we're out here on the front lines. Now, some of us are veterans. Some of us are just in the industry. Some of us have played Major League Ball. But we're all in this shit together, okay? And whether your voice is minute or you've got a huge platform, it's all necessary, okay? Just like in the art of war, man. You know, there's one guy with a musket in the back. There's a guy in the back with a 9 millimeter cooking the food. And, and there's the guys on the front line with the howitzers and the missiles and the rockets, but we all gotta be red glare. We all gotta be one team. So it makes no sense to unfollow each other, to shit on each other. We have to stand united against this machine because this machine is out to prove a point that they don't care who you are, they're gonna deplatform you. They're gonna make you out to be someone you're not. They're gonna twist your words. They're going to take your videos and splice them together. And as long as you know what you stand for, the machine can't win. Once I get out of this wind tunnel, back to normal. Give you a little time to think. Give you a little time to ponder as to what's really going on and why the enemy uh, really comes out and fights because they know it's at stake. They started this, this war. And uh, guys like Alex Jones way back in the day, 2008 when I found him, um, excuse me while I adjust my mirror, he, uh, he came out and spoke about this shit. And people call them, you know, tinfoil hat, conspiracy theorist, nut job. Now what? Now what? 12, 13 years later, he was right. He was right on point. And I had a lot of people back then even tell me, hey, you know, you're a nut job. Why do you believe in this? You know, you believe in chemtrails. You believe in all that. Well, now, now who's who? Now who's who? So we've been on the right side for a long time. So when we side with guys like Kwame Brown, we know what's up. All right. And, uh, you know, I'll guarantee you they won't verify them. They won't verify a lot of these accounts. If you are verified, be thankful because... A patriot in these days and ages, uh, you probably won't ever get verified again. They don't want you to even have a platform. If it was up to them, it'd be deplatformed. So we all have to stick together. We're all in this together. If you find yourself uh, following someone who doesn't follow you back, I don't care if they have 200,000 followers, a million followers. Um, I, I know it gets really busy on Instagram, and sometimes you can't follow everyone back. But those that are pushing every day, don't let it go by the wayside. Acknowledge these people. I don't care if they have 200 followers and you got 200,000. Lift them up. You all, we all started off somewhere. We all started off with a couple hundred followers, a couple hundred supporters, and it just grew from there. None of us started on, you know, day one, like, you know, a JLo where we just came out of the gates and had millions of followers. So if you're like me and you came from the bottom, keep looking back, keep reaching, keep, keep pulling other people up because to win the war, the info war, we're gonna need everyone, okay? Everyone. And so this transcends nutrition, this transcends sports. It goes a lot deeper. It's it's to the makings of 
what's been going on for decades, where they took the, the man out of the home, where they, they demonized the man for being manly, where they, you know, propped up this fake narrative, this false narrative that, you know, women have to be equal. They've always been equal. Whether they were at home, taking care of the kids, making sure that meals were on the table, it's still a part of the plan. It doesn't mean women are beneath men. Never in a, in a million years was that was that thought of. Now, there may have been some chauvinistic pigs back in the day that took advantage of that, like there are today, but for the most part, I'm telling you as an alpha male, we don't see women like that. You're not below us. If anything, I wanna prop you up. That's what, that's what I based my business off of, strong women that are out there pushing the limits and, and doing more than even men could think of, right? Because that's the, that's the future, all right? Women are running the world. And if you don't know that, then, then you're pretty much lost. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I grew up with my mom. I grew up with my sister. I grew up with aunts. I grew up with strong uncles. I grew up with a great network of stability. Um, did they have their ups and downs? Absolutely. But like I'm saying, uh, we, I call it the women of chaos because they run chaos, man. There's a handful of us guys that are there supporting and working our asses off. But for the most part, you know, the women have taken the lead here at chaos and I'm proud of it, you know, and, and you should see more of that in your everyday life. And, and to those women that are listening out there, those ladies, those young ladies, the, even the children that might be listening, it doesn't matter. Man, woman, or child, you're all in this together. We need the alphas to stand up, okay? So if you feel it in your heart and you know what you're doing is right, step up, start a YouTube channel like I did, you know? Start start a Instagram channel, start a Twitter. And if you feel as if you're okay with putting yourself out there, then do so because it, it just doesn't stop and start with a superstar. They're not shit without you. I'm not shit without anybody following me or liking me or subscribing or watching my videos. So we're all in this shit together, all right? From Kwame Brown to, to you know, Man, to all the big names out there, I mean, Alex Joneses, everybody, all, all in this together, Aubrey Huff, um, there's just so many names, Candace Owens, would be nowhere without each and every one of us. So keep that in mind as you're going through your journey, keep that in mind as you're going out through your daily life, that you're significant and you mean something, and that to defeat this machine, we all gotta stick together. If you find yourself getting unfollowed by one of these guys, blast them for it because uh, there shouldn't be any unfollowing. We need everyone to stick together and make sure that this uh, this machine stops and that the bullshit goes away. And we'll only be able to do that with numbers. Okay? So, on that note, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes, your shares. Uh, hell, thank you for your business. Thank you for going on the Chaos website chaosnutrition.com and contributing. You know, a lot of, all the money that goes into chaos stays within chaos. I don't even take a cut from it. So it goes back to our athletes. It goes back to, uh, you know, supplement development. It goes into apparel and it just keeps building uh, the company, the, the, the brand, and it just keeps going. And so every contribution, whether it's a dollar, hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, or you're bringing it into your store for the first time, it matters because it all matters. So I thank you, each and every one of you for tuning in, for liking all of it, all the way through. And uh, just so you know, we wouldn't be shit without you. So I thank you. Um, and uh, that being said, make sure out there, you know, doing whatever it takes. You know, if you're not doing whatever it takes, you're not doing enough. All right. If you're not, if you're not checking that box at the end of the day that said, did I do whatever the fuck it took to be successful, then you didn't do enough. Okay. And that's just keeping it real all the way all the way at one hundo, okay? And so, staying ride or die for your circle, man. For those that are supporting you, you go above and beyond for them. You let them know that they're significant, not to only you, but to your movement, to your company, to your brand, okay? You let them know that. And sometimes, falls by the wayside. Communication is always perfect, but we can work towards it, make it better. Because none of us are, are perfect, right? So, we're gonna have those pitfalls. And then last but not least, just understand that there's no easy way out. There's never gonna be a shortcut home. As long as you follow the three fundamentals, I'm telling you, you're gonna be successful, all right? So do the best you can, stay safe, 
Stay blessed. Till next time, guys. I'm out.